Hello and welcome to see how to make gears in Blender for 3D printing. There are many ways for making gears and I think that I'll give you two different ways. The first of which is the Blender gear add-on. You can get the gear add-on from blender.org and once you have installed it you will have an extra menu item in your add mesh menu so that when you go to mesh you will see gears and in the gears you have a choice between a gear mesh and a worm gear mesh. So let's make a gear by clicking here. <coughs> the gear appears here and if you don't go into edit mode you can still adjust the number of teeth so that it fits your needs. You can adjust the radius, you can adjust the width, you can adjust the base just the size of the hole and also you can affect the teeth the extent of tooth below radius and extent of tooth above radius like so you can also affect the pressure angle which is the tip of the tooth and you can also if you want to or if you have a need for something like a conical gear you can do it with this conical angle tool right here. But I think I will go with this, this type of uh, gear. You need to note that there is no hole, uh, there's no wall inside the hole in the middle. So if you want to create um, a nice hole for the axle, you will need to select all of these vertices and select all of these vertices and then use the loop tools bridge to create your walls for the gear. When you have decided that your gear is now perfect you can go to the 3D printing tab and then use your check all tool to see that you have nothing major here like non-manifold edges or non-flat faces and this is this is fine. Then all that remains is to scale it up 100 times because the STL file export is going to make it extremely tiny unless you scale it up already up here. And then you can go file and export into an STL file call it add-on gear like so. And after that you can go to Repetir Host and start working on the printing. I'll show that next. And now we have entered Repetir Host which is the governing software for the printer. We can go to the optic placement and add the add-on gear like so. And as you can see the size of the gear is uh, now at 22 millimeters times 4 millimeters. So I'll just uh, double the size so you see a little more of it. I'll make it three times the size actually. And since it uh, is placed now we can go to the slicer tab and use this slicer setting to come up with a printable file. And then we can scroll through all of the layers in the print one layer at a time to see that it will actually work well, which is good because as you can see it will print just fine using the honeycomb infill at 20% and the print time is three hour, uh, 1 hour and 3 minutes. The estimated filament needed is 3 meters and the layer count is 30. And all that remains now is to hit start print and have it done in about an hour's time. Thanks for watching and do watch the other part as well where we go through the woodgears.ca method.